Hi all and welcome back. For a client based business, especially tracking the billable time is important as it allows us to invoice better to the clients for each project. So we want no red flags when it comes to our client relations and a good time entry helps us avoid this while billing our client on project time. So Timesheet has proved to be an efficient time management system, allowing us to track, manage, and allocate time effectively. So let's see how we can effectively utilize Timesheet module to manage time. So you can view Timesheet module from our Odoo app store, which is already installed. Okay, now we can open timesheet from our dashboard. So with uh, deadlines and budget goals, managing time and accurate recording of time spent is essential for almost all business. And this model can be very useful as an accurate record that allows better payroll processing, task management, that is project or task management, client relation. So, when you open the timesheet module, you can see an overview of my timesheet. Uh, that is, we can see the recorded uh, timesheet. So, we can record time spent manually by clicking on add a line. So, just click on add a line and here we can mention the project. And here we can create or add an existing task. Then we can set the employee name who's working on this task. Then the date and the time spent on this task that is on this project. Okay, after that, you can save this. So you can see uh, the time spent on this project after sales services on the task and the time spent you can see it is recorded and add it under, added under the date. And you can also modify the time spent on the project uh, by just clicking on that uh, time. So if it is two hours and 30 minutes instead of two hours, you can modify it from here and you can see the total for each day at the bottom. So if you have worked on this project office design on June uh, 27, you can just add the entry from here. That is the time spent. So I have worked one hour and you can see the total uh, time spent on that day, spent on project. So just click on the start button and here we can provide uh, the activity that is you can describe the activity. And you can select the project name. Okay, so I'm adding research and, research and development and you can select the task, which is not mandatory. Okay, so I have worked on document management. Uh, in the project research and development. So after adding the details, you can stop if it is completed. So you can see automatically that entry is added here. That is project research and development. And the task document management have sent this much time. And you can also update it from here. So if you have spent one hour and 30 minutes, you can add it from here. So now the total is also updated from here. And we also have so many other options, like uh, for example here, for each cell you can see magnifying glass option. So we can see all the records aggregated in this cell. So just click on that to see the details. So we can view the uh, project task so when you click on this, okay. You can change the project, you can change this task. And you can also add more lines here.
then we can also view the time sheet in month wise okay so here we can see and you can view previous previous entries that is previous week and previous month okay and we can also group this time sheet like if you want to view validated time sheet you can filter it from here we have that option uh, so you can find a lot of options like if you want to view build on time sheet uh, time sheet build at fixed price then we can group this by uh, project task date or billable type so if you group by project you can see uh, now when you take the list view you can find there are 14 time sheet under this project research and development okay and we can also group this by task then billable type so here we can see we have two billable type there is not billable task and new task found uh, okay so we can expand and see this see the time sheet now let's go to configuration settings. There we can find a lot of options. Okay, here you can find encoding unit. So uh, the we can set the time unit used to record your timesheet. So by default, it is set as hours. And if you want to update it, you can change it to days and save the settings. Okay, now when you check the timesheet, you can see these are not recorded as hours. Uh, these are set as days. So if you have spent one day for this task, you can set like here we can, you can see one hour, sorry, one day. Like this way, you can update the time spent. Now I'm going back to configuration settings and changing it back to hours. And below you can see a feature that is a round time sheet, which is used to round the time recorded uh, on project. So we can set a minimal duration. So here by default, 15 minutes is set as minimal duration. So whenever the time goes below this 15 minutes, it will be uh, rounded to, it will be set as 15 minutes. And you can also see option to round uh, the time up. That also is set as 15 minutes. Suppose I set this round up to 10 minutes. For example, if you have recorded the time as 2 minutes, it will be rounded to rounded up to 10 minutes. And above you can see an option to uh, enable awesome time sheet. This is used to track the time from any word that is even offline or using your web or mobile applications. So this one is uh, by default enabled and you can see a menu under time sheet that is time sheet app. Okay, before that, let me save the settings. Okay, now let's take the timesheet app. And here we can see your personal timesheet. So we can use any device, anywhere, and even offline. So we can get it on Google Play, available in Chrome Web Store, and you can download it on uh, App Store. Okay, so here we can add, view the timesheet recorded. So you can uh, record the time by Click on start button and you can see time now we can stop it and here we can choose a project, choose a task and we can set the time spent. We can add a work summary and save it. Okay, you can see that is added here and you can click on plus button to increase the time. So you can see it is increased by 15 uh, minutes. As we have said, 15 minutes as our minimal time from configuration settings.
And here we can also find the menu. Here we can view today's timesheet and this week. Then you can view today's plan, the old statistics. And you can also see an option to synchronize. So here we can use this button to synchronize now. So that's it. Then you can configure your billing services like time billing services. You can sell services and invoice the time spent on it. And here we can choose the invoicing policy. So by default, it is set as all recorded timesheet. And if you want to update it to approved timesheet only, approved timesheets only, you can change it from here. So you can invoice based on this option that you choose here. Then we can also control the timesheet. That is, we can set reminders for employees or managers. So we can send a periodic email uh, to remind to remain remind the employee to uh, timesheet users. So here we can set the frequency of sending reminder. It can be sent after end of week or after end of month, and you can also set the frequency. And same way, we can send periodic emails to managers. That is timesheet of managers. Uh, that also can see same way we can set the frequency. Then below you can see a section that is to record time off. That is whenever a time of request is created, automatically that can be added in the timesheet. That is we can create timesheets upon time of validation. So for that just enable this option. So automatically when a time of request is created, the timesheet will be, that is the time will be recorded. And we have discussed about this in a separate video that is, that is creating timesheets upon time of validation. And if we want to view the timesheets that need to be validated last week or last month, you can just choose it from here. And you can validate it. For that, just click on the validate button. Okay, you can see the timesheets are successfully validated. And here we have a reporting for timesheet. That is, we can view the timesheet by employee, project, task, or by billing type. So you can see there are different views like pivot view, we have graph view, then we have list view. So that's all about the basics of order 14 timesheets. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, Please add your valuable comments below and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get latest updates.